Hello and welcome to another episode of All Code Sucks. In this one, we're going to be talking about a line of code that I found at a previous company that I worked at. Uh, I was adding static typing to a very large Python code base, and I stumbled across a line that was misleading at best, but technically correct. And so I wanted to show you uh, an analog of that line of code, and then walk you through why it's it was actually the right thing, despite looking very misleading. Uh, but anyway, let's let's uh, jump into that. Okay, the line of code looked something like this. It was a function. It took like 30 parameters, but that's not why the code was <laughs> misleading or, or awful. Um, or Well, again, not awful, because it actually did what it intended to do. Uh, but it had an argument, which was typed as a float, meaning it can, it can take a float. But the default value for that parameter was the Boolean false. Uh, and... I, I posit to you that this was actually correct because when I attempted to change this to actually a floating point value to match this, or if I attempted to change the type annotation, it did nothing. And the reason for this is a surprising side effect of how floats are treated in the Python typing type system. Not the actual type system, because if you ask, for instance, is instance false float is, is instance, I can spell instance. Uh, of course, a, a Boolean is not a float. Curiously, though, a Boolean is an integer. And this is where the subtlety uh, in the difference between the MyPy type system and the Python type system with numbers is, is a little bit strange. Um, you can probably read a little bit more about it in MyPy's docs. They usually refer to this as the number tower, uh, where a float is technically compatible with an integer in most cases. There are, of course, some methods on integers that are not available on floats. Uh, so you can see as integer ratios there, but if you asked like bit count or something, you know, you couldn't do that. I think all the float ones are on integers though. No, <laughs> there's no, there's no int dot is integer. And so you can, you can create something that is unsound by, um, for instance, pip install mypy, um, and you have a function. Actually, we'll just take our existing function. We'll make g here, which takes a float and does nothing, and we'll do uh, print x dot is integer. And if we pass one to uh, one to g, <laughs> we'll do, we'll pass one point to g. Uh, you'll see that it succeeds and MyPy is happy with it. Uh, but if we were to pass an integer to, to this g1, MyPy is going to be okay with it, but it's going to crash at runtime. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I think they're actually fixing this in the latest version of Python. They're defining this on integers just to make the number tower more consistent with the typing system. Uh, but anyway, that's a little bit off topic. Basically float in the typing system means either a float or an integer. And since Booleans are integers, this is technically correct. Uh, the reason that this default value is still correct beyond that is the code checked explicitly if x is false and then did special behavior based on the value of false being passed here. I think a more reasonable type annotation would have been float or bool, though technically this is redundant because bools are integers and they get included as floats. Uh, but yeah, very, very strange bit of code. I probably would have refactored this in a different way such that you're not sometimes passing false and having special behavior if you pass false, but it wasn't my code. I was just there to add typing. Anyway, that's this weird situation where false is actually a floating point number <laughs> in the Python type system. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't have great solutions here other than this annotation, which I think is what I did in, in code review. Anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next one.